Well, so all of us have used the PTV video editor, which is the default video editor we get with Ubuntu. As we know, PTV doesn't ha include any effects or transitions, and when you just want to add some simple effects, PTV falls short. So, well, PTV actually is a well developed video editor and it has many newer versions than the version we have. You know, the PTV v which we get with Ubuntu is PTV 13.5 and the actual current version on the PTV website is 14.2. So, there's been a lot of development after actual PTV which we get with Ubuntu. After you go to the PTV download page, you'll find three options. You can just download the pre-built packages. Go to the first option. Here we have all you have to do if you are using Ubuntu or any Debian based distro you just have to click this link you just click it and it will summon the Ubuntu Software Center now all you have to do is click OK and Ubuntu Software Center will open up and you have to click install that's easy as so I don't think anyone can go wrong with that so I'll show you how to install it via the alternate which is adding the repository select this you copy that and you go and paste it into a terminal so I'll open up a terminal window over here, paste, hit enter, put in my password, wait for uh, the PA to be added. All you have to do is to the apt, get, install, PTV, and hit enter. Now we already have the PTV video editor installed. PTV from the menu, a welcome screen will pop up which is a very wonderful way to start we have the option to create a new project and the earlier projects will be displayed over here so I'll go to new I want it to be a widescreen video or you can choose the other templates just like cinema so we'll go for widescreen and 30 frames per second you can leave that all by itself and the basic settings are pretty okay and I click OK. We'll just try it out on a video. So I'll import a clip from my videos folder, which is this. One thing you notice now is that you have a preview window here. So you can actually preview it before installing and you can even zoom in. So that's pretty cool. Isn't it? Now I'll drag the video onto the timeline. We'll look at some of the pre installed effects over here. They are pretty well arranged so that's it for the tutorial today thanks for watching and please subscribe